hello everyone and welcome to episode number eight of the gta 5 mod showcase series that i'm doing on my channel and in today's episode we're gonna be doing some more car mods i actually have five to show you guys in addition to what i'll already tell you guys right now uh another blimp mod so if you guys i'm sure have noticed the the blimp mod that i had in the previous videos obviously that one was the mass effect reaper this one is the star destroyer from star wars and uh it's pretty cool but yeah i figured i would I would let you guys know about that. In addition to that, I'm also using an ENB mod, so that's why the game does look a little bit different. Uh, it looks a little bit better in my opinion. There's a few settings that I'm still trying to work on and make it look, you know, as close to uh, real life, I guess, as possible. I'm sure if you guys follow me on Twitter, you've seen some of the pictures I've tweeted out. It's, it's incredible what this game can actually look like, but hopping into these cars that we're going to do. So this first one we have here is the ford mustang gt and this one is actually pretty special because at least to my knowledge and i could be wrong here but it's the first car that i've seen that actually has customizable parts in the los santos customs which i will show you guys in a second but uh let me just do an, a quick overview as you can see here's the uh, the outside of it it definitely looks really nice man these car mods are getting better and better it seems but going into the interior here everything works properly uh, there is a, you know, I think this is one of the biggest problems so far is just the clipping up at the top. But, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the mirrors, unfortunately, do not work on this one. And let me just get out to show you guys. Obviously, the doors work, the windows work. Uh, and I can't put my gun away for some reason. But, yeah, you can see the inside right there. It's, it's pretty, pretty damn nice. But like I said, this one actually has customizable LSC parts. So I'm going to go ahead and go there and show you guys what I mean. All right, so while I'm driving over here, I figured I would uh, ask you guys whether or not you want me to continue making videos with this ENB or like with these graphics mods on, because I know it obviously looks a little bit different. Maybe some of you guys don't like that. If you don't, just let me know in the comment section. And if there's the majority of you guys not liking it, then I will uh, turn them off, I guess, for the videos. But all right, so here we are in the Los Santos Customs and obviously armor breaks, nothing there, but body work. You can see here something uh you can see the window vents definitely looks pretty awesome then if we go to bumpers now it's not much but it, it's it's pretty impressive what they've done already and here's the rear bumper you can just make it colored let's see for the grill you can actually put lights on it i don't think they actually work but you know you can do that if you choose the hood you can put a carbon hood on if you want what else can we do? We can put a plate. Obviously, you guys already know the roof. This is something you can put like the thing, the louver, louvre. I don't know how you say that, so I'm sorry to all the car people out there. But uh, yeah, you can have those options. And then skirts, you can just change the color there. And actually, the last thing, you can put a spoiler on it, which is pretty neat. So yeah, that is, that is pretty neat. Like I said in one of the first videos about these cars, like as cool as they are, you know, it'd be even cooler if they had them where you can customize them, you know? So I'm glad to see that these modders, they are actually doing that. So, uh, yeah, I, I really can't wait to see what other people and other cars come up with. But here is one last look at the car before I do head and show you guys the other ones. It's definitely, in my opinion, one of the most complete cars that have been modded in. But yeah, there you guys have the first one. Now, this next card I'm going to show you guys, you may not have actually heard of it, and I know I definitely have not. It's, and I'm probably going to say this wrong, the Arnera Hussari. And I know I completely botched that name, but it's a Polish supercar. It's actually apparently their first one, and I think it actually looks pretty damn cool. One thing I will say while we're just taking a look at this one, the, the first car, the Ford Mustang, obviously that one replaced the Dominator. And this one, this one is going to be replacing the Coquette. So just note that if you do plan on modding these cars. But this thing definitely looks pretty damn sick for a supercar. And if we go into the interior on this one, as you can see here, mirrors unfortunately do not work, but the, the rest of the car looks looks pretty good. All the, uh, the speedometer and stuff works as well. Let's just get out. Okay, so yeah, the door doesn't work, unfortunately. There's, there's a few bugs, like I said. But I mean, like, for the most part, dude, this one... <laughs> it looks pretty pretty awesome considering I've, I've really never heard of it uh, oh by the way this one also has a a two-tone paint job or it's got two colors you can see the uh the orange it's kind of an odd 
shaped or it's an it's a odd choice for where the colors go but as you can see there's the the lighter orange on pretty much all around and then on the roof to the back here it's a uh a more yellowy i guess orange but uh, yeah just just wanted to let you guys know about that here is the the back yeah you can see the name is that hello uh buddy that's a building anyway <laughs> um yeah you can see there's the name there i, I know i probably said it wrong but yeah there's a the second car the third car that I have to show you guys, and again, I'm probably going to say this wrong, so please, please don't judge me too hard in the comment section, but this one is the Koninsegg Egera. Hopefully I said that right. And this one actually replaces the Entity, but it's another supercar. And this one, you'll see here in a second, it's got one of my favorite interiors of, of some of the modded cars that I've shown, but there's the back, which definitely looks nice, especially like the engine part there. And you can see... Uh, the yellow on the rims now one thing that I do want to mention is that this blue not the the light blue but the dark blue on the stripes you can't actually change that color but it definitely looks really cool and then again here is first person and that's the left side mirrors do not work there's the little roof definitely look nice and then look at that it's got the electronic speedometer which is freaking sick and let me just get out here. Okay, so the doors do work. And uh, there, although there's, is that, a, it looks a little bit of, like a little bit of clippings hap a clipping is happening. But nonetheless, I mean, look, it, it for what it is, again, like I said, all, all these mods, uh, you know, some of them are obviously in earlier development than other ones. Like the Ford Mustang GT, that one pretty much is good to go. But like this one, you know, all the mod authors, they are working on them, so... Some of these littler issues like that should be resolved in, a, in an update. This next car that I have for you guys is the 2013 SRT Viper GTSR, and it is obviously replacing the Banshee, which this is the car that the Banshee is based off of, obviously. And you can see the chrome rims. This one is is clearly the the sports version. It's got all the, the you know the stickers and the vinyls and the decals and everything. It's got SRT everywhere. It definitely looks really cool. It says Forza on the uh, on the spoiler back there. Now, as cool as this car does look, the only problem that I do have at the moment, but like I said, hopefully the, the mod authors do work on it. Uh, there's a there's a missing texture, it, it seems, right there. So, or there's a, it's a mirror or something, because it's obviously not, uh, doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. But here's the interior. It's got the freaking TV. That's actually really cool. Of the car that it is, obviously. It's got the uh, Viper, it says there. The speedometer does not look like it works, unfortunately, but that's a that's a pretty cool interior. It's definitely unique. Can we open the door and leave it open? There you guys have the safety bars and stuff, and there's the door, all the carbon fiber and everything. A lot of chrome in this, too. There's the, the chrome outlines on the door, on the rims. <laughs> you got the Michelin. I just noticed that, too. That's pretty funny. But, yeah, that that's definitely, it's definitely a really awesome modded car. And then finally, last but not least, this one is the Maserati Ghibli S. And this one is going to be replacing the exemplar that's in the game. And it's definitely a really, really nice looking four-door car. As you can see, it says Maserati on the back there. Here's the uh, left side. And then you can see, again, on the grill, there's the Maserati logo. Here's the uh, car from above. And then moving to the inside, it's the left side. Mirrors actually look like they do work somewhat on this one. Hand plates, placements do work, as well as the speedometer. And there's a little, like, watch there. It's pretty neat. I wonder if that's actually... I wonder if that's the real time. Uh, but there is the sunroof, and obviously there's the back seats back there. Definitely a really nice-looking four-door car. I haven't really shown, like I said, in one of the previous videos, I haven't really shown too many of these. It's actually a little bit of a texture missing that it looks like right there, but for the most part, definitely a really awesome addition to the game. But that is it with this episode of the Mod Showcase. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know in the comment section what other mods you guys want me to showcase. If you did enjoy, though, go ahead and drop this video a like. Subscribe so you don't miss these whenever I do post them. And as always, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.